Hello, this is Rice Snow. So last time we created this program. So we display text one character at a time like this. This time I'm gonna implement this function to this adventure. So right now it displays everything at once like this, like this. Mm. So let's change this and uh, display one character at a time. Okay, so first uh, I think we can just copy this timer in our previous program. Mm. So like this, and the timer. Okay. Mm. Whenever you want, but uh, maybe around here, like uh, after player setup. And the timer, and obviously, so we need to make this variable too. Uh, so first, the string text, and the int i, and the sound cue. What else? Okay, text area. Okay, not text area this time. So we already have this. Uh, main text area so we're gonna use this so main text area and uh, yeah so since we're gonna play sound effect to display this text so we're gonna make sound effect class again okay so let me do that this sound effect we created last time so let's copy this i'm lazy so all right okay and initialize the sound effect plus se equal me a new sound effect okay so now all the, the errors disappear so now we can use this timer okay next step is we want to display these texts like you at the gate of the town or Garo Hero Stranger, these texts uh, by using this timer. So, so first I'm gonna make a new method here, public void, and I'm gonna name this as uh, I don't know, prepare text or something. And so what this is gonna do is first we're gonna set blank text on this main text area because we are using this append so as i explained last time you know this append doesn't delete the existing text so this just add another text to the currently displayed text so if we don't reset this uh, main text area so what's gonna happen is you know after this playing this text then uh, so it's gonna add this text after this right after this one like uh, so it's gonna display like this like this yeah so like this what do you do god hero stranger like this and uh, it's gonna go on forever so so that's what this means and then we're gonna start this timer Okay, so we don't use this set text anymore. So let's comment out and uh, instead we're gonna use this text string. This one, text, this text string. So we're gonna use this one and the text. And so put these texts into this text string. So like this and then uh, prepare call this method prepare text hmm. so this talk guard as well so comment out and uh, text equal and uh, prepare text yeah so let's check this 
Okay, let's start. Hmm. Yeah, it's working. Hmm. And uh, if you choose this talk to the guard, yeah, like this. Hmm. So basically, we just need to change like this. So delete this main text dot set text, and uh, instead we, you know, so change change it to this text equal. So let me do this real quick. Okay, so it's like this. Yeah, actually, I forgot to <laughs> type this. You need to reset this i too. Otherwise, you know, like uh, when you click another button, when you know i is like a fifteen or twenty five or something, then uh, then the next next text starts from this twenty five. So you need to reset this i as well. So. So this way, even after, even if you click this other button, while you know text is still displayed, and uh, but uh, it starts from zero, so like this, so mm, so it's okay, I think. Yeah, so this is basically done, but I think I think it would be even better if you could skip the text if you have already read this text many times, and uh, you don't want to read it every time, so. Maybe you want to skip the text. And I think it would be nice if you click your left mouse button, you can stop this timer and uh, display all the text at once. That way you don't have to wait until everything is displayed every time. To do that, first we need to let the program recognize our mouse, mouse action. Mm. Uh, okay, so after this, and this time we only use this mouse pressed. Uh, okay, so first timer stop. So we want to stop the timer whenever we click left mouse button and then main text area set text and this time we, we use this set text and the text and i equals zero we reset to this i too okay so this means we're gonna display full text so we put this text into this text string yeah this means so yeah let's display everything so whenever you click your left mouse button then the timer stops and display the whole text and reset this i okay let's check this again okay okay left click yeah like this left click hmm Click. Mm, okay, like this. If you are impatient and you don't want to wait, then uh, you can just click your left mouse button, and you can display everything at at once. So I think it is nice. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I think this is everything about this text displaying tutorial. I hope this is useful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And see you again.